Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part six of the Dig Dug, uh, the Kangaroo to Dig Dug conversion. Um, we're going to start with putting the side art on. Um, I have it printed over here. It's way wider than I need, but I think this is for this side. Um, we put a red square around the edges so that we can kind of uh, make it square for the back of the cabinet. Because if we didn't do that, obviously we're going to cut the red line off, but if we didn't do that, um, I, it'd be a lot harder to make this square. I guess I could have gone off of this to the back, but I think the red line will work pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this down a little bit, because obviously it's a lot wider than we need. So let me get this side cut down and then I'll come back and we'll start applying this side. Okay, I got it cut down. I got my masking tape here so we can get it taped up there. trying to center these as best I can. We're obviously going to have to move it around more. Just trying to get it placed somewhat close. Might take me a few minutes to get it where I want it. I think I need to go up a little higher. Actually feeling pretty good right there. fell a little bit, but we'll be able to straighten that right back out. Just want to make sure that this red line goes away. Let me get this peeled back first.
Okay, we're crooked. Let's try it right there. Much better. Okay, I think we're pretty good there. good the red line showing right there so now I got to try to peel this back off and shift it that way a little bit more that's the good thing about the lamination is that the artwork will come back off until it's been on there for a while Too far now. Still too far. Now I think we're the other way. So this needs to get dropped down a little bit on this side. This one's going to apparently be a pain in the butt tonight. Wow, I'm getting worse. Sorry about that, I got interrupted. So now back to wrestling with this. Closer. I have about three quarters or so, but a half down there. We are real, real, real close. I 
think that's it. That's why I really like applying this on laminate because you can mess with it a little bit and it doesn't ruin it. You could do it with wood too. Just not as well. off again all right let me try to get this position and i'll come back i just need to see if i can scoot the back that way just a little bit as soon as i stop the camera i get it where it needs to go so that's pretty good there now i think inch from the line and we're about a half inch from the line we are now good Let it just hang there. Just work it down very carefully.
All right, the struggle is over. We did it. I haven't had that much problems in a long time. But don't give up. You'll get it. Now we can cut it down. And I always fold it over and cut it in the T-molding groove so that the T-molding will hold it in. So just take your knife and put it right in the center of the slot. Just cut right down. couple speckles of dirt in here but oh well just make a couple series of slits here so that we can fold this in cut it Henry, what are you doing? Cat was in the video. He wanted to be famous. Or something like that. I'm getting there. Just gonna work from the back here. Probably just put the team holding on this side as soon as I get this artwork on. Get this out of the way. This goes, uh, I believe this is the black leather team holding. I'm not positive. You know what? It might be black smooth team holding. I gotta check and see if I have some. I know I have the leather team holding, but I don't know that I have the smooth. Usually if you go on our cage shop's website, it'll tell you when you click on like the textured tea molding, it'll have a list of what games it was used on. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be black smooth and I'm not sure that I have any. So we might not be putting the tea molding on, but once I finish this, uh, putting this artwork on, I'll go look and see. And this team only wraps around all, all the edges of this cabinet.
All right, let me go see what I have and just double check, but I think all Atari games have uh, the smooth black molding. These ones like this and Centipede and stuff like that. But that looks pretty darn good. You can see along that back edge is nice and straight going down. I fought with it for a while, but we got it. Okay, I looked it up. I was right, smooth. I do have smooth. I found some in the back, so we're good there. Oh, cat's up on the cabinet now. This is what happens when you have a six-month-old kitten. Come here, buddy. Come here. This is Henry. He is a handful. He gets into anything and everything. here. I usually buy this stuff in big rolls because it's just nice to have it. And I think what we'll do is we will make sure there's a groove on the bottom, which looks like there is. Okay. We're going to put the seam in the center of the bottom, somewhere in the bottom. Let me go grab my cutters real quick. They're right over here. notch in the here. you can bend these corners. Might be able to get this one. Inside corner will cut. We just have to make a straight cut and then it'll bend around. dropping the cutters there's a hole there
This one we might be able to bend. Slip this inside corner again. this a little long okay left on this side is the bottom. I wonder if we can lean this carefully against the T-holding on Mr. Dew, just like that. It's resting on the T-molding. Okay, that's one side done. Now we can spin the cabinet around and knock out the other side. Okay, let me uh, cut down that other artwork start applying this side. Hopefully this side won't fight us as bad. Okay, I went to cut down this artwork and realized that we printed both artworks for the right side of the cabinet. So we have to reprint one for the left side of the cabinet. So vinyl needs to be changed out and stuff on the printer. So tonight I'm not going to worry about this other side. Let's work on, um, let's put the control panel overlay on. So we can do the control panel overlay tonight. I got that control panel overlay from Arcade Shop. So I'll show that to you in a second. Also, I've got stuff ripped apart everywhere right now. This is the Golden Tee. Um, this was running 2019, updating it to 22. I got the new, I had to change the motherboard out and everything. So I got all that changed. Um, problem I'm having is it's running uh, HDMI. And when I put it on a higher resolution, I lose the audio. So I had to order a HDMI extractor so that I can get audio to the speakers in the cabinet. So hopefully the parts will be here tomorrow from Amazon and I can wrap that up. I still have um, Wizard of War torn apart over there. Um, I talked to Ken from Golden Age Arcade today. We messaged for quite a while. He is working on making me a new control panel harness. We don't know what happened to the one that we originally had. So he is fixing that and he's making me a video cable. And also he is making me a adapter cable that is going to go from the um, switching power supply adapter that Arcade Shop sells 
to the factory harness so we don't have to cut any wires so you know if you guys need anything like that any of the stuff like that just talk to him send him a message um he's a real good guy he knows what he's doing um he's like a real asset to this hobby because there's not a lot of people that do stuff like that anymore and it's getting fewer and fewer it seems like so having somebody like him around is definitely awesome so hopefully he said in the next couple days he should be able to ship that stuff out to me so maybe in a week or two we'll be able to get back on that he lives in canada and it takes a while to get shipped here but all right back to this this is a control panel overlay it's already pre-cut um this came from arcade shop so hopefully it lines up i almost think i should I if i should punch these out the rest of the way yep that's probably going to be the smart choice then i can really line it up this uh control panel was a um kangaroo but now that the kangaroo and the dig dug are identical control panels so in theory these holes should line perfectly up with the factory ones Yes, they do perfectly beautiful so let me get a clamp I want to clamp this in place so that we can peel back the top and get the top done first so stick a clamp down here I might have to get different clamps these ones don't seem to be real strong or I can probably tape it I want to get this lined up perfectly here right there looks pretty darn good i like this control panel overlay it's got such an 80s vibe to it with the stripes and everything okay i think we are good there so let's um let me grab a pair of scissors over here we're going to uh Pull this top down just a little bit and we will uh, peel the back off. Tomorrow night we'll put the other side art on and the other T molding. Can't get this paper started. I don't know who makes the artwork for Arcade Shop, but they do a nice job. We could have printed this, but I was ordering other parts, so I just threw it in the shopping cart. Just so I didn't have to mess with it. Sometimes when you download artwork off the internet to print the... Um, holes don't line up perfectly and stuff like that so sometimes it's just easier to order it that looks pretty darn good there
might have to get a hair dryer and heat that. Usually if you rub it with your hand, the heat from your skin will start holding it in there. We'll leave it like that for now. We'll go back to it in a little bit here, kind of let it relax and maybe it'll kind of uh, go down a little bit on its own. I like to use my hand, the palm of my hand, because I can really get it nicely wrapped around it. Good thing I dropped that knife, I knew that knife was in there. Tell you what, man, this is a perfect fit. Get these corners to go down, twist them under, we'll be good to go. I have to clean the joystick still. The shaft is all rusty and stuff. Probably do that tomorrow night. I did order new buttons for the player one and player two start, the light up buttons. We could put those in and we could put these two buttons in. I gotta check the color on the buttons. I don't remember if they were black or what color they are. So let me look that up. But look at that, look at how awesome that looks. Perfect. So let me look that up, these button colors, so we can get those in, and I'll go grab these two. Okay, I've got new uh, holders for the leaf switches, new leaf switches, new nuts, and new black leaf switch pull, uh, uh, buttons. So we can put all this together real quick. Oh, I forgot to get the player one and player two start buttons. I have to go look for those. Usually you can just tighten these pretty good by hand. I think I'm gonna go like that with it. Tilt the other one the opposite way. And then we can put the leaf switches on, and then I'll go find the player one and player two buttons, I believe. I don't know if I have the cones or not. I think I do. Usually I clean the buttons, but um, the buttons that were on here were really nasty. So I got rid of them. They were just filled with pop and like nicotine stained. So I went ahead and got new ones. Let me grab my drill right here. Put these uh, leaf switches on. I think I have to make a control panel harness because I don't think I have one. So we are probably going to be making a control panel harness for this game. Hopefully this drill will fit in here. Should have probably put these on before I put the things in there. I can get my uh, angle drill attachment. I think it's laying over there on the floor from working on golden tea. I swear I clean this arcade every week. 
and then I get into another project and just trash it again. It's one. One more, and then I will go find the start buttons. And I'll have to get the harness out and I'll have to look to make sure that I have the um, correct Molex connector so that we can plug into it to make the uh, control panel harness. The Wizard of War control panel harness, I could have made it. Um, probably could have made the uh, harness for the monitor as well, but I knew that the power supply was a little off and stuff, so I'd rather just have Ken do it and wait for the wait for the parts to come. Let me go see if I can find the player one and player two start. Okay, I got the player one and player two starts right here. I have a bunch of old ones of these too, but we'll just throw the new ones in. I remember when you couldn't get these new and you had to find them on eBay and people would want like $20, $30 for one of them. Until they started making new ones. I think we're going to have to take this nut off of here. Hopefully these cones aren't too tall. I might have to get shorter ones. I don't know that I have a set of shorter cones. Might have to order those. Try taking the washer off. If that doesn't work. I'm gonna need shorter cones, but I thought these used a long cone. These cones are actually aluminum. They're not plastic. Perfect. So I just got to get rid of the nut and the washer on these. I'll put these in the box with all the other stuff. Because I'm thinking that you would need the nut and washer, or at least the washer, if you are using a short cone. But I'm pretty sure that these are supposed to be tall. Yep, the ones on the centipede are tall. So these are the same height. Dig dugs. I mean, our uh, kangaroo is probably going to be tall. What I'm planning on doing when I re uh, reorganize the basement here, I think I'm going to kind of categorize stuff by like Atari, for instance. Like we'll put dig dug and centipede and um, uh, kangaroo and maybe pole position. We'll kind of line them all up next to each other. You know, we'll just kind of group them in groups like that. I think it'll look pretty darn cool. But okay, so we have that done. Joystick I need to clean still, and then we can put that in. So that's gonna be the end of the control panel for tonight. Um, let me just look at this harness I have. This is an original Dig Dug harness. And let's see if we can't find the control panel plug. It's not gonna probably be labeled. So that might be a little bit harder to figure out what's what. I'm going to guess that this is probably coin door and control panel, but I could be wrong. Or this is control panel. 
Well, anyways, I need to make sure that I have a Molex connector that'll plug into these. These are both uh, 369 12 pin connectors. This is a nine pin. So I'm gonna need a nine pin connector and a 12 pin connector because I need to make a connection for the coin door. Now, I'm thinking it's probably the, one of these 12 pin. I'm gonna, I don't know that, yeah, I guess the control panel and the coin door would be next to each other. So I'm gonna say this is probably the control panel because we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wires plus a power wire, nine wires. There's 12 on here. I'm gonna have to look at the schematic and stuff like that, but we will get there. So, all right, I think I'm gonna end this video. Um, hopefully tomorrow night we can work on uh, that other side art, get that on, get that T-molding on, and then we will be ready to start with the um, uh, coin door, stuff like that. So, all right, guys, this was part six of Dig Dug. If you guys like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Any questions, comments, feel free to send them. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow.